Howdy. Did I mention this Doctor Who story has a Dalek in? Uh, it is, forms part of the funniest part of the episode when the Doctor manages to outwit a far younger, if far stupider, individual and lock him in a Dalek. Uh, not lock him in a Dalek. Uh, time up on the floor and the Doctor's in the Dalek. You can see this video has started off very well. This story, this four part story, of which this is part two, is already starting to creak at the seams. And what makes it really good is uh, our regulars, who are a bit bickery uh, and a bit full now. And I've noticed you know, there's a tendency to really have a go at Vicky, but nonetheless, they bring a life and a joie de vivre to this story. What makes this episode not work is the dreadful dialogue, which I had forgotten the the lines in question, uh, the info dump at the start where we learn an awful lot about the planet and uh, the Fantasy Museum. The Fantasy Museum is repeated, reiterated so many times in so many different ways. So it's a museum, it's a museum. Ah, oh, well, it's a museum. Nobody comes to this museum. Museum. Oh, it's always a museum. Yes, the last episode was called The Space Museum. We do not need to go into so much detail. So the dialogue is pretty creaky and the, uh, say in the guest characters are a little bit wooden. The uh, person in charge of the planet is mahogany. But there are moments of joy in this story. As I said, the Dalek moment is very, very amusing. The interrogation at the end where the Doctor is putting false images on this screen that uh, the, the governor of the planet is trying to learn things from. That was very, very funny. And Harl's on sparkling form, actually. But you can just feel that for all the goodwill I have for this story already, it's going to fall apart. The story's called Dimensions of, Ti uh, Dimensions of Time, he says, looking up at the telly, which is there. And the only reference to the, to the wonderful premise that was set up in the first story, uh, the first episode, is people going, well, how do we avoid the future? Should we go this way? Ah, but what if that's what we did? But if we did that, should we do something else? Ah, should we do something else? And it has turned into a, a first Doctor run around type thing. Get back to the TARDIS. How do we get back to the TARDIS? Oh, no, someone's been captured. Someone's picked up. Um, and there's just a nod to that people being in the museum, which is a pity. But nonetheless, we shall see what episode three thing brings. As far as I recall, fan consensus is pretty low on this story, um, but I'm prepared to give it a go because it's got enough going for it so far to make it fun. And I find it very interesting. I don't, I don't think I talked about this last time, so I'll briefly do it here. That the Daleks are dropped into this story, or a Dalek is dropped into this story in such a, a different way. It, it is a pro, it is a machine in this story. It's not part of the, it's part of the scenery, uh, but it's part of the scenery, not just the story, but of Doctor Who. Already Doctor Who is starting to play with its own mythology. I like that. That is a good thing. Right. Okay. That's enough of that. Nice to be watching Doctor Who again. See you next time. Bye.